Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Scrappy Chic and I wanted to do a short demo on some markers, some new alcohol ink markers, um, for the store anyway, that we have uh, begun to bring in um, a few of the sets to see how they go and then perhaps some of the loose markers. These are the Olo markers and we got a couple of samples when we were at our last um, show and I wanted to do a little demo um, of coloring but I also just kind of wanted to talk about the markers a little bit. So these markers are different from a Copic in that um, they're like a half barrel and you can put together, you can put them together however you choose. One of these is a brush tip and one of these is a chisel tip. And from what I understand, Olo is looking into a bullet tip as well. So <clears throat> if you wanted to have both of your colors, this is their BG.4. Um, if you wanted to have your brush and your chisel together, you could. If you wanted to have coordinating colors, this is BG.7, you could put those two together or you could just take your marker and they have a handle here that just attaches to the marker as well. So you could just have a single, and this is the brush tip. This is what I'm used to using. So this is what I'm going to color with. But I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of, you know, these are some of the, well, not some, these are the colors. This is the color wheel. So there are a lot of colors available. But what's interesting about these is that this is like a chamber um, in this marker that is filled with ink. So you can do a replacement cartridge so you don't have to pour the ink in. You just put a cartridge in when you want to refill it. Okay, so that makes um, refilling the markers really easy. Um, so what I am going to do is, I'm just going to color. These are some Lawn Fawn images that I just stamped because I just have this one color. These are the samples that we got at the show. So I'm just going to do some quick coloring. I'm going to color the same way that I would color with Copics. I always start with my darker color and kind of go on the seams here of these leaves and then maybe a little shadow on one side. So that's the BG.7. Now the way that they've made these markers is that anything in the BG color line is going to blend and coordinate with the other BGs. So you can see that this blends out just like a Copic would. I'm kind of going around the edges where the two colors are coming together. And then where there's white space, I'll just do a single layer of the lighter color. Oop, kind of twisting it around. Sorry, I don't, I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> so we'll just blend out along the edge here. Now, when this when this um, is done, I will also have this actual sample in the store so you can see the color. The color is very vibrant. Um, of course, you know, we love the teals. And I might just go back in and do some additional flicking here to get this to blend a little bit better. So that is one. Now I'll just do this one over here and I am just going to do a really thin line along the bottom and then I'm just going to do these like that with the darker color. I usually tend to do my darker color first. Blend right on the edge here. And if I had a third color available, I probably would use a third color to add a little bit of a lighter. But you can see these blend really nicely. All right, 
and I'll just do this one real quick. And I know we did a little bit of a little survey to see what tips everybody likes to use. And it seems the majority of the people use the brush um, and then the bullet. Not a lot of people that are doing cards are typically using the chisel because that's meant more, I think, for an artist doing larger spaces. So we did take a survey and the brush tip was what everybody uses the most. And like I mentioned, we talked to the Olo people and they are doing some research on a bullet tip as well. So that could potentially be coming out very soon. So there is a quick little demo on the Olo markers. These are the BG color, so the blue greens. This one is, the darker one is called Blue Iguana, and the lighter one is Turquoise. So, um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the store. You're gonna see some of the um, sets available for purchase. We'll have probably these markers out so that you can try them. Um, but they blend really nice and uh, come on in and take a peek. This sample will be there as well. Thanks.